Today, we have an exciting project in store for you. In this video, we will be learning how to build a DIY motorized camera slider controller with Arduino, your gateway to capturing stunning time-lapse sequences and smooth dynamic shots with ease. With this innovative camera slider controller, you have two powerful modes at your fingertips. This versatility allows you to experiment with various shooting styles, from slow and graceful movements to fast-paced action shots that truly push the boundaries. So without further ado, let's dive into the details and learn how to construct this amazing project step by step. Are you a photography enthusiast looking to take your shots to the next level? Introducing the DIY Motorized Camera Slider Controller with Arduino, your gateway to capturing stunning time-lapse sequences and smooth, dynamic shots with ease. With this innovative camera slider controller, you have two powerful modes at your fingertips. The first mode is RPM mode, where you can finely tune the speed of your camera slider from a gentle 1 RPM to an incredible 500 RPM. This versatility allows you to experiment with various shooting styles, from slow and graceful movements to fast-paced action shots that truly push the boundaries. Imagine capturing the mesmerizing flow of a starry night sky, the bustling city life, or the serene beauty of nature in exquisite detail, all achievable with the RPM mode of your camera slider controller. But that's not all. The second mode is the timer mode, a true gem for creating breathtaking time-lapse sequences. The timer mode provides you with an array of time settings, enabling you to set up and capture captivating time lapses effortlessly. But wait, there's more! To enhance your shooting experience, the DIY motorized camera slider controller is equipped with a clear and informative 16x2 LCD display. This display keeps you informed about all the essential settings, status updates, and functions of your camera slider. In this video, I am not demonstrating how to build a slider. Instead, I'll be sharing with you how to create your own camera slider control system. However, in the upcoming days, we plan to develop a full version of a motorized camera slider. Now, let's take a look at the hardware setup for this project. The core component driving this project is an Arduino board, more specifically, I'm utilizing an Arduino Nano though an Arduino Uno can be an alternative option if desired. To control the stepper motor, I've implemented the A4988 stepper driver module, ensuring it's equipped with an appropriate heatsink to regulate its temperature effectively. For the motor itself, I've repurposed a widely used NEMA 17 stepper motor salvaged from my old, non-functional Creality 3D printer. As for the user interface, I've incorporated a 16x2 LCD display to provide real-time feedback and enhance the user experience. To streamline the communication between the Arduino and the LCD display, I've integrated an I2C module, enabling efficient two-wire communication. This setup not only simplifies the wiring process but also optimizes data transfer, allowing for a smooth and responsive user interface. To ensure precise and reliable movement, the camera slider controller relies on two limit switches. However, to accommodate my preferences and streamline the design, I've decided to replace these limit switches with a toggle switch, which features the same terminal pins. This choice maintains the functionality of the slider controller while simplifying the assembly process. For the final setup, all the electronic components are placed on a PCB, printed circuit board. Additionally, I've included an optional buzzer, which serves to indicate button presses and stepper motor drive time. To protect and make the setup portable, I've placed all the electronics components inside a plastic enclosure, making it easy to carry anywhere. In the completed camera slider controller setup, the components are arranged as follows. Firstly, there are 230-volt input ports that feature a power-on-off switch and a protection fuse. These input ports are essential for providing power to the controller and ensuring safety during operation. Next, there is a toggle switch that serves a dual purpose. It functions as a limit switch, enabling the controller to detect the endpoints of the camera slider's travel, 
preventing it from moving beyond those points. The display allows users to view relevant information such as slider position, mode settings, or any other data relevant to the camera slider's operation. Furthermore, there are three additional switches designed to control the menu options. These menu control switches likely enable users to navigate through various settings and functionalities of the camera slider, making it more versatile and user-friendly. Finally, the camera slider controller includes a USB port. This port serves as a convenient method for connecting the stepper motor to the controller. The use of a USB connection is particularly advantageous when the stepper motor and USB both utilize the same four terminals, simplifying the integration process. The overall design and arrangement of these components aim to provide a comprehensive and efficient camera slider controller system, empowering users to operate their camera slider with ease and precision. Now, you might be wondering about the purpose of the limit switch in the camera slider controller. Let me explain how we use limit switches in camera sliders. In a motorized camera slider, we place two limit switches at both ends of the slider. Their purpose is to trigger when the slider head reaches either end. When the first limit switch is triggered, the Arduino changes the stepper motor direction, and similarly, when the second limit switch is triggered, it changes the direction again. To power the entire project, I am utilizing a 12-volt, 2-ampere adapter, which effectively supplies power to both the Arduino and A4988 module. In the event that a 12-volt, 2-ampere adapter is unavailable, you have the option to use a 12-volt, 1-ampere adapter instead. While the 2-amp adapter is the recommended choice to ensure to power for the components, the 1-ampere adapter can serve as an alternative with a slightly lower power capacity. That covers the entire hardware setup of the camera slider controller. Now, let's dive into the code. Before we proceed with the code, I want to mention that I initially built this camera slider in 2018. It followed the same concept, but back then, I used PVC pipes for the physical slider. The video I made at that time didn't thoroughly explain the process, it was mainly a visual demonstration. Moreover, the code I used in 2018 not originally mine. I found it on Andrew Jones' YouTube channel. He also built a similar camera slider using an Arduino and other hardware components. Unfortunately, his video is no longer available, and the code he provided has expired. So, to recreate and improve the camera slider project, I rebuilt the entire code, fixing bugs and incorporating new version libraries. I'm grateful to Andrew Jones for inspiring me to undertake this camera slider project once again. Let's jump into the code. Here's the completed new camera slider source code, that I spent a long time perfecting myself. You must install the required libraries and add the correct I2C address for your I2C module. Once you have done that, simply upload the code to the Arduino. Finally, to test the camera slider controller in action, first I connected the AC 230 volts and then connected the stepper motor to the slider controller using the USB cable. After powering on the slider controller, the display showed two awesome menus, RPM mode and time mode. I entered the RPM mode first. RPM mode displays three options. Start, back, and RPM count. It was initially set at 20% RPM. When I pressed the start button, the stepper motor started running at the set RPM speed. I slowly increased the RPM, and the maximum speed was 400 reach, which is the maximum speed for running the stepper motor. Then I gradually decreased the RPM to the minimum level of 7.
This is the first feature of RPM mode. To change the stepper motor's direction, I use the toggle switch. The toggle switch responds to the limit switches, which are applied to the camera slider in reality. Now let's move on to the second option, time mode. Time mode has two options. Start and timer set. I initially set the timer for two minutes, but you can change the time duration as per your preference. Once the timer was set, I selected, start. Depending on the selected option, right to left or left to right, the stepper motor quickly reacted and moved the camera slider to the specified position. When the slider reached the right side position, it triggered the right side limit switch, and then it slowly started moving towards the left side. The same applies when moving from left to right. In conclusion, building this camera slider control system has been an exciting journey. We've explored the hardware setup, understanding the crucial role of components like the Arduino, A4988 stepper driver, and the NEMA 17 stepper motor. The inclusion of the limit switches ensures smooth and reliable operation, allowing the camera slider to reach each end and change direction seamlessly. While this video focused on creating the camera slider controller, I look forward to sharing the full version of the motorized camera slider in the coming days. With this enhanced setup, you'll be able to capture stunning and dynamic footage, adding a professional touch to your creative projects. I hope the code and detailed explanation have been helpful to you. Remember to install the required libraries and configure the I2C address correctly for your I2C module before uploading the code to the Arduino. Lastly, I want to express my gratitude to Andrew Jones for inspiring me in my camera slider project. I hope this endeavor inspires others as well, encouraging them to explore the exciting world of DIY electronics and filmmaking. Thank you all for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below or contact me in WhatsApp. My WhatsApp number is provided in the video description. Please note that I can only respond to messages, not calls. I am ready to reply anytime. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting projects like this. Stay tuned for our next video, and until then, happy building!